Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to my life as an archaeologist. It is an incremental game about being an archaeologist, but I think it's more like on the Indiana Jones side of things. Alright, we're in Bern, Switzerland. Okay, I want to turn this down a bit. It's nice and bloopy, and I like the visuals, but also loud. Is that a little low? Yeah, it's a little low. Do like 40. There we go. Alright, okay buddy, you can do this. Papa's right. It's time for me to face real everyday life, get a normal job, and settle on my own. Manners and Butler in central London won't pay for themselves anymore. And I have finally made my decision. Archaeological adventures. Here I come. Let it not be said that Buddy Do Comps isn't a grounded, responsible adult. Besides, how hard could it be to find ancient artifacts? Okay, so I can click as fast as I can or stay clicked for the re and rest your fingers. Six to eight clicks per second. Okay, these are the levels you have to go through to beat the first zone, gain your first artifact. Gauge fills with every monster killed. Okay, now go and kill. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Clickers are... Busted if you have an auto clicker script and you can abuse. Uh, so instead of attacking, we just hi <laughs> just hyper vibrate at them. All right, click over. Uh, just hover over an item to see its stats compared to your equipment. Defense, attack, other things. You can also do alts to compare items side by side. Three types of items uh, can can be fused. Just click fusey. Creating a new item of the same type and rank, but this superior tier. This is the order the inventory fills up. Once it's full, the oldest item is, is discarded and new one fills the slot. Alright. So I might as well pop them on. Bonus click damage. Oh, you have no idea what you have wrought. Uh, let's see. We also have character stats, which... What does intelligence do? Energy, regen, efficiency, max energy. Dexterity is auto clicks per second. Crit chance. And, no. Do I just become auto strength? Only strong? That gets me click damage, max HP, and poison damage per stack. Hello, I'm here to vibrate at things. <laughs> Toad, you say? No! You can even see my cursor is just ready. <laughs> ah! Hello, pig. Pig does not look impressed, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely is just, like, not fair what I'm doing, but there's something just truly joyous about it. Oh, no, that goes there. Uh, let's see. I might as well grab the better weapon. I don't know what this slot is. We'll figure it out when we get there. Hello, frog. Let's see, I think you need to click the coins. Maybe? Yeah, you're right. Well, either way... I, I should probably play this without uh, hyper super click nonsense, but at the same time, I just seeing this archaeolo archaeologist lady just roll up and just vibrate and bore to death is amazing. <laughs> yeah, don't forget the coins. It's easy for me to forget. Hopefully there's an upgrade that lets me skip past that a little bit. I also have no idea how research works, but that's fine. Oh, they do auto pickup? Oh. We get to choose a perk here. Averages your invested stat points and adds 20% to their value. Next normal enemy you encounter is a mimic, or instantly gain 15 strength. Uh, you know, actually, I would say... I'm not sure what Temperance does. I think Temperance specifically... I think Temperance specifically evens me out. Mimic is interesting, but is a one-time thing. I'm gonna go strong. Because a Mimic at this point probably isn't that helpful. Oh, we got a skill point. Skills! Okay, Zoologist. Every click grants you click poison damage buff. Animal Kinship. Extra click damage. Poison damage. Potion activation. Poison stack. Unlocks the powder active item. 30 max energy, energy regen per second, auto clicks. Okay, so it's the question is do you want to go idle, active, or spellcaster? Anyway, maximum beef. 
Okay, my strength is at 48. That should be good. And we've got some gear. Uh, let's see. Now it's just blew up at the moment. I don't actually know if it's better per se. But I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, it's, I'm just going to turn on auto fusion. Okay, so we now have green gloves, but they're worse than I have. And hello, wolf. Oh, you're slightly dangerous. Here's the thing. I just need to go back to vibrating. So let's see if I auto pick up that coin. No, it doesn't look like it. So I do actually have to click the coins. A, and we also get a card. Face the boss immediately. No. Next unresearched monster you encounter will be automatically researched. Our enemies, enemy attacks and HP are increased by 30% for the rest of the run, but they drop more gold. Well, I don't care as much about that because most enemies don't get the chance to attack me. I am terrifying. I am inhuman. So this is slightly roguelike-ish. Ish. Ooh, purple gloves. Okay, let's check my inventory real quick. Merge some things down. Okay. Auto clicks per second. Yeah, sure. Let's see, extra intelligence and dexterity. No, I want the rare item rarity. Let's see. I don't think I care about the rest of these. What does this give me? Damage resist, auto clicks, and all attributes. Nope. Pretty happy with that. Click damage and strength versus click damage. Oh, no. Be gone, blue sword. You're not actually that good for me. Hello! Well, it was a going to attempt to hit me, but that's fine because Buddy ain't no weakling. Buddy don't get hit. Buddy just keeps stabbing until anything and everything is dead. Okay. 15 dexterity. Another level of tower, or lose all your gold, gain it back doubled after killing the next boss. Uh, I, I liked the hanged woman, maybe. I could go for dexterity. Let's go for the hanged woman. Who needs money? I probably do, but I don't need it at the moment, and I'm probably going to win. And if I don't win, then I'm going to be very impressed. Okay, so let's go here. Strength is good. Skills. Okay, extra click damage, poison damage, or activation. 7% click per po uh, click poison damage buff lasting for two seconds. I'm not quite sure which is better. Let's go for herpetology. Do you have more skill points? I do. Poison! I still think the flat click damage is probably better for this character. Hello, Big Ferg, Mr. Toad King. Oh, well, there was some dialogue there. <laughs> All right. Extra max HP when you kill an enemy. When your HP falls below, freeze time or more damage for the first five seconds of the fight. Uh, well, I got to go for sacrificial blood. Let's be honest here. Well, we gained a shit ton of gold. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'd love to go for the uh, extra damage at the start of the fight. However, uh, the max HP is just too useful. But yeah, I think I'll just go for flat damage when I get the chance. Oh, that skeleton actually took a swing at me. Okay, so let's check skills. Go back to this. Character is fine. What does Dexterity get me again? Crit chance, which actually might not be terrible. Let's take a look at some items for a bit. So, Dexterity, Regen, and... Sure. What about this? Click damage, poison, and efficiency. Yes. Uh, damage resist? No. Damage resist? No. Strength. Yep. And there's no way that I can, like, trash things, can I? Oh. Oh. And I can't move them around either. Eh, it's probably fine. It wants me to fuse stuff. Oh, my money. And I'm assuming I just go until I die. Maybe. Okay. Judgment. Revives you once at 50% HP. Nope! Must become big! 
I care not for anything else. I'm just here to hyper-click my way to victory. Well, this is really charming. It's, uh, not fair what I'm doing to these creatures. I feel some small amount of potential guilt. It's very small. Okay, so what do we have? Strength, dexterity, EXP gains, yes. If I can actually equip it. It doesn't want me to. Ah, I can just right click. Click damage, efficiency, no. Damage resist and HP, also no. All right. Spider. Okay. Is it skills? There we go. Back to hyper-clicking skeleton. Well. Other into this. Character. Character is solid. We don't need to worry about that. And spider. You will not stop me. Oh, another perk card. I love these perk cards. Temperance or Emperor. Improved your equi equipped items by one tier. Hell yeah. That seems useful. Let's take a look. Oh, they're all purple, except for this one, which is now gold. Probably would have been nice to be wearing one of these, because as nice as this is, this is actually better. Oh well, it's fine. Still useful, though. Ooh, that's a lot of strength. This gives item rarity. But this gives a lot of strength. At least this is good. And we just gotten this one, which is decent. Gives me the item find. All right, cool. Ah, uh, holy shit, those actually hurt. What's the weird box in the inventory? That is my. Uh, that's the auto fusion item. So now that I'm now that I'm thinking about this, this actually reminds me of, uh, like clicker heroes. I remember playing Clicker Heroes 2, and it had kind of similar mechanics, but it wasn't great. Uh, strength, Dexterity, Regen per Life. I mean, yeah, it's just better. What about the Scarf? Oh no, that's that's a body item. Okay, did I spend all of these? Yes, alright. Hello, Beetle. Goodbye, Beetle. Oh, the feathers are hats, not necklaces. Feathers. Oh, you're right. Eh. Okay. For these. Auto clicks per second. Versus. This gives me strength, though. Yeah. The whole DPS calculations really don't factor in how absolutely busted I am as like a, a weird, weird creature. Just keep going for click damage, and then back to hyper-clicking. Let's see, Clicker Heroes 2 has gone through some fairly significant changes over the years since its release for what it's worth. And as far as I know, it's also Abandonware. Like, they, they stopped working on it. Which is a bit of a downer, to be honest. Okay, so what is this? Extra dexterity, all attributes, auto clicks per second. Yeah, it's better than what I'm wearing. Back to this, nope, back to this, nope, back to this. There we go. Keep an animal kinship, and ooh, that's actually pretty useless for me. Unfortunately, the the talent tree is not exactly uh, keyed into how busted I am, but I know after we finish a run, we get access to a I'm sure we get access to something that lets me spend my money. Where's the auto clicker? Uh, oh, what is the clicks per second? Uh, let's see, 10 milliseconds. So I guess one click every 10 milliseconds? It fast. It is many. I wonder if I could actually make it faster. Most games seem to have a hard lock, but in this case, there doesn't seem to be one. Hello. Oh my god, whatever that thing was. I really should actually uh, read the dialogue, but oh well. Immune to the first enemy hit every fight, or click has a chance to freeze an enemy for two seconds. Well, that's... Is that, like, really strong? It's 100 clicks per second. Hell yeah. Sup, sucker? 
Wait, I've heard this music before. That well, was very pleasant. But I, I'm pretty sure I've heard this music. It's... I've 100% heard this music before. It must be licensed or something. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of strength. Oh, but this has the item find. I'll keep, I'll keep that for the time being. You were not expected to reach this far in the first run. I know I wasn't. Oh my god, they've got thousands of HP. However, I have a 1% chance of freezing an enemy per click for like two seconds. Which more or less means that I'm just going to keep powering onwards. Northern man. Ow. Northern man hurts a bit. But yeah, if I can freeze uh if I can freeze somebody, they can't do anything to me. Alright, let's go back to this. Uh I guess I might as well inv invest in that, because that actually sounds kind of useful. Unfortunately the poison damage isn't very good, but it's okay. Yeah, they hardly get the chance to attack, and then I freeze them solid, which works out really rather well for me. Ow. He did hit me, though. Not him, though. That that freeze perk is upsettingly strong. <laughs> I just... The fact that the animation just breaks so aggressively, too. <laughs> I just, I, I can't describe my utter glee when I can break a game over my knee. Frankly, with cheats, enemy gets poisoned, dies before it even ticks. It's true. But no, poison doesn't do anything for me, really. It might help against certain things, like bosses. Okay. Damage resist, regen per life. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's better. Twenty-seven strength. Eh, it's like a little bit more strength. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, the leaf is a self-heal spell. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I guess I should probably try casting it. I mean, it works. It's on a cooldown, but it's it's there. Up, oh, another perk. Hell yeah. Lose your last artifact, discover a new one. Lose all unequipped items, gain three random items with a th uh... Hmm. Wheel of Fortune's kind of tempting, but I'm gonna go for Empress. Uh, let's see. Let's grab Animal Kinship and then just max the poison. Because unfortunately, Amazonian Toxins just doesn't really help me too much. Ooh, maybe I should actually go for the box Jellyfish. Maybe it'll actually tick. Once. A couple of those enemies might actually have a tick. Yeah, I'm probably just going to go until I get one shot by something. <laughs> I swear I've seen this in like a television show. Where it was like a... Like the character was broken or something. Ooh, that's good. Strength, energy, EXP gain, and item find. That's the upgrade I've been waiting for. Hello, bear. Goodbye, bear. That's gonna take a while. It's true. I could probably stop at some point and reset. Actually, why don't we kill this boss and then intentionally throw? Just stand there and let them kill me. Uh, because I want to see whatever the, the gold perks are. And I'm sure it's gonna make every subsequent run faster. Ah. Uh. I have 100% heard this music before, but I cannot place where I've heard it. Because I remember hearing the song and thinking, and it's like, oh, I like that song. It's good. There we go. Oh, another perk card. Triples your gold, then you lose. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> Defeat. Hubris. 
Okay, class chosen zoologist, things. Back to menu. Research. Okay. Oh. That's how this works. Let's see. You know, actually, this is a really cool system. One item can be auto-used. Right-click on items and choose the condition. Okay, so I actually needed to kill a lot more stuff. I guess we might as well just get all of these. Interesting way of handling meta progression. I dig it. I was hoping for a little bit more. So if I do a new run, are we just immediately thrown into it? Looks like it. I have a rebirth. The other thing I could do is probably back out, like, right now. I abandon run. Because I should have all of my gold still, yeah? Yeah, so I still have my gold. Grab that. So a couple more bears, zombies, northern men. Okay, I don't think I'm going to throw any more runs. Uh, because that is not... I don't have a whole lot that I can invest into. So I guess we're just going to... Uh, just absolutely stink up everybody. I was hoping for more from the from the meta progression system, but I think it's just I need to fight so many more monsters to make it work. That does mean that this is a little bit more probably grindy as far as uh, incremental games go. Because sure, I, I've got those bonus stats, but it's not like you can go big number immediately. Like, there's definitely a couple of incremental games I've played recently where you prestige and then it just gets so much faster. Imagine playing this legit. See, I don't think it would actually be too bad to play this legitimately. You just leave it on. Um, well, you just leave it on the, the auto build. Go until you die, buy what researches you can, and then rinse repeat a bunch of times. But the active play for this is uh, very much... Well, I mean, especially if you're using an auto-clicker. The active play is much, much stronger, uh, but you really have to put some effort in. Whereas conversely, like, it is a weird idea trying to fuse... Uh, I guess I'm going to grab the chariot because I don't have any items equipped. I don't think. Nope. Okay, let's just slap on whatever is best. I think most of these aren't going to be very helpful. Let's look at the life regen. All right. Hello, Ferg. There we go. How bad do you think it would get if you sped the game up to be like five times? Uh. Well, let's see. Because I, I think with the one problem I'm running into is it is it is quite um, uneventful. You're just going in a line. Okay. Charming if you want to just have something going on on the side, but hard to be active about. Okay, it does look like five times speed is viable, though. Because he's definitely going faster. Yep. All right, here we go. This is much better. Go back two levels, but no earlier than the beginning of this world or the fool. Let's go for a mimic. Okay, strength, some other things. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, that was a good got glove that they just fused together. Oh, well. Kind of hard to care. The one immediate problem is I'm not able to gather all of the gold as we go by at this pace. But I have so much gold that maybe it doesn't matter too much. Stop this for a second. Grab Magician. Oh. Uh. Okay, so what do you grab? Attack Turtle. 50 clicks. Uh, every 50 clicks for 40 times click damage. 20% uh, lose 20% chance to find items, but 20% chance for a, chance for a higher rarity. 
Now let's go for the rare turtle egg. Oh, and my money. And let's do a couple of things. So here's a question. Five per, uh, 0.5 percent chance to generate 10 auto clicks whenever you click. Mega crit. So here's the thing. Interestingly enough, uh, zoologist isn't actually very good. Like it gets animal kinship, but it's not. It's very much based on the uh, the poison. 0.2 click damage every second until the end of the run. Interesting. What else do we have? Items can be auto used. Chance to regain 10% of your energy. I mean, the items seem kind of neat. But oddly enough... Like, it actually seems like... Going maybe down this direction. 2% chance on your crits to gain a shield equal to 10% of your max HP. But the half... Uh, half a per... Or... Half a percentage chance... To generate 10 auto clicks whenever you click. I feel like if I got that up to 5%, that could get kind of gnarly. Same thing with heavy crit. I don't know. I might want to go that direction. See what happens. Yeah, is two to five gold coins actually worth it when you have so much stored? Yeah, that's the other thing. Let's go with this. I don't think I need the auto clicks attack speed. But let's go for the uh, crit chance. Okay, then inventory. Everything merges down. Uh, let's see. Let's grab a sword. Do I have a necklace? I do. Okay. Go for some dexterity. Oh, and you know what? I haven't actually invested into any of these, have I? So dexterity increases my crit chance by a chunk. Strength increases my click. Can I do auto strength and auto dexterity? No, I can only do... I can only do one or, or the other. That's unfortunate. I guess I'm going to do auto strength for the time being. Because I, ne I need the flat bonus. Okay. Yeah, so I'm still gaining some amount of money. It's just not all of it. But maybe that's fine. Two skill points. Gain more gold. Go for skill points. Might as well get that crit chance up hard as I can. Just yeet the skeleton. There we go. It's fine. And frankly, the main main difference is that I go so much faster that this doesn't feel nearly as onerous. Because it was a little slow previously. Probably not bad if you're not actually, uh, if you're just kind of chilling. But a little rough if you're hoping for something a little bit more active. Okay, let's stop for a second because my items are full. Hi. A lot of fusions. Alright. Go for the damage resist and dexterity, but that has more. What about you? Crit multiplier, damage resist. Yeah, let's grab that. Might as well just be T2 across the board if I can. I'm not I'm not gonna think too hard about what I'm picking up here. Okay. Delete that. Heal up. There we go. These guys are a little tougher. But I think it's because I haven't found any good weapons. Okay, nope. Oh. Er. Yeah, let's just let's just leave the auto cast on healing. Okay, HP is fifty percent. There. That way, my healing will actually trigger a lot more often, but mostly when I need it. Okay, what else do we have? Damage, crit multiplier. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so if I go back to character, yeah, we've been investing into strength. Not gonna get this. Yes. Chance to gain a shield equal to 10% of your max HP. Yeah. That's a very low chance in retrospect. 
But it's still worth it. Hello, big mama. Whatever that does, I don't know. Uh, 1% chance to reset your cooldowns. Uh, 1% chance to strike the enemy for 100% of your max damage or regen 2 energy per coin picked up. Uh, let's go for the lightning rod. I don't really use max energy that much. But at least I can just kind of somewhat delete these guys. Oh, there's the turtle. I didn't even notice it back there. Okay, so we've got some things to equip, because that's better. Uh, click damage and poison, click damage and HP, strength and energy. Yeah, it's better. Hello. Unfortunately, I don't have that frost ability from previous, which was actually really good. But that's okay. And yeah, we want to just grab as many, as much info as we possibly can. It doesn't even really matter if I survive. I mean, especially because I'm just doing this, this is kind of an impressions video to see like, hey, is this game good? And the answer is, oh, it's charming. I think I wish there was more I could do from the perk card side of things. Because it'd be really neat to see some like further mechanical depth. Oh, let's see, intelligence, dexterity, and strength. Yeah, just all in. Ooh. Grab that. All right, what about skill points? Might as well max that out. And do you want to go crit multiplier? Yeah. Best in that. Character is just hard strength. Perfect. Oh. We don't have, have as much money as we did on the last one. Oh, but that's because I deleted myself. That's what happened. I think if I was playing this at three times speed, it would be a lot easier to pick up all the money. But also, don't care that much. We're just... We're just rolling. And just trying to wipe the floor with everything. A couple more until the boss, too. Who knows, maybe I'll get another card that gives me the option of deleting myself. I'll take it if it comes to it. But also, like, eh. There we go. Oh, those other clicks are... Got it. Lose your artifact, discover a new one, next 10 hits, or... Enemy attacks are, and HP are increased, but they drop more gold. Uh, you know, I didn't like my artifact. Let's find a different one. When you kill an enemy, artifacts activate twice. Randomize all of your artifacts, or... Each click has a 1% chance to create an explosion for 50 times your click damage. Hell yeah! Time to explode, sucker! Ah. Uh... Uh, let's see. But I think it crashed the game. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I think I broke it. <laughs> yep, it's dead. <laughs> All right. So I think five. Uh, I think five times speed might be a little bit too much. Yeah, let's see if my research is still there. Game cannot handle peak wander. It's true. Oh. Well, I can continue the run, but oh, do it. No, 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 no. Okay, let me just. Let's try like three times speed. Because I think five was too much. Let's. Tr three might be better. Okay. And continue run. I appreciate, I appreciate that it's got this. There we go. Yeah, three times speed seems a lot more sane anyway. Well, there was dialogue. Somebody wants to tell me if it was any good. Okay. Click generates max energy. Click has a random ch chance to create a new random equipment. Or, I mean, original jack-in-the-box. Cripes. I'm going to have so many items that's not even going to be okay. Sure. Oh. My sword's infused. Click damage, strength. Let's grab that. Which is better. Click damage, intelligence, HP, and poison. Nah, this is better. 
Uh, let's see. Skills. Do I have any? Yeah, I got three skill points. Go back into crit multiplier, and we're good there. It also, yeah, did reset the volume. You're correct on that one. I'll turn it back down. There you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Inventory, and back to vibrations. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just gaining money based on clicks. Or money. I'm getting items based on clicks, which just sounds which is just kind of nonsense. Okay. Ten to all stats, upgrade everything, or heal. I love the idea of the Emperor, but it's very temporary. Let's go for the stats. There we go. You know what this game reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of You Must Build a Boat. It's kind of... Uh, the format is different since you're not going back to the boat. But all of the uh, the creature-related research very much functions in much the same manner. There we go. The enemies are definitely a little punchier. I think it happened again. Yeah, okay. I think I might be clicking too fast. Maybe it's because it's now that I have... <laughs> I think it's because I've got that, uh, that item drop thing, which is a little unfortunate. Well. Okay. At least this time it remembered my audio. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn down the auto clicker a little bit. I can vibrate a little slower. It's very slow. Okay, let's go back to inventory for a brief second, which I should probably do anyway. Oh, right. Speed hack. Three apply. That should be faster. All right, cool. Well, we also have a lot of items here. I'm just going to chuck on anything that is purple instead of even really using my brain here. Oh. Damage res resist attributes versus... The, uh, the calculator over here that tells me whether or not a thing is good is, like... I want to say it's just kind of consistently wrong here. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Okay. Bah. That is a tough hyena, though. Can we get the perk card that lets me just destroy myself? In favor of some more money. I might take it. These are a little punchy. Times 3 speed seems a lot safer, though. And the reduced, uh, the reduced click speed. Well, it does mean the enemies live longer. It does also mean the game doesn't freak out nearly as much. Oh, there's a lot more money out of that one, but that's okay. I could really also see a ability focus build having some serious benefits. But alas. But also doesn't matter that much. There we go. I can also just use some of my abilities, like the potion. I probably should have actually gotten the item that makes it so I get, uh... There we go. Ooh, those are some good boots. Uh, let's see. Crit chance, click damage, and intelligence. I don't know what efficiency is. Quite curious about that one, but it's fine. Uh, I'll just kill as many as I possibly can. They are like 10 levels higher than me. It's true. Shit, I might actually just like naturally die here. I catch back up again, but they're tough suckers. Boop. And my, my super auto clicker script can only do so much to scale me further. But maybe that's okay. We can at least get to the next boss and go from there. 
But no, I, I really dig a number of these features. I Once again, I wish the artifacts and the level up, per level up perks were a little bit more interesting. Uh, same thing with the talent tree. Like, oh, oh, but I have a revive. Yes. Still means I'm going to get killed by something, but... Okay, let's see if we get anything good. Is that better? Yes, that is. Any of the rest of these? Ga glasses. Yes. But are these better? Crit multiplier versus just strength. Nope, that's better. All right, hello. I've been granted the power of more crit. Should make me stronger. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, eventually I have to go back and upgrade the, the meta progression anyway. Yeah. Oop. I'm dead. Okay, got killed by mummy. Let's take a look at research as I have some new things to grab. So, base item find chance, base HP. Uh, let's see, crit chance, efficiency. Yeah, the extra EXP gain goes a long way. I, I think I've kind of broken it. It's not letting me pan up and down very well. Uh, greatly improves your cursor's coin attraction. Oh, that's huge. Two max HP gained every level up. Oh, that's big. Okay. Well, either way, I really like the idea of the a clicker like incremental game being framed as a roguelike. There's a lot of potential in there. I think the perks could be more interesting. Same thing as like a number of the items because they're just stat based. I almost wish that they were almost kind of separated out somehow and everything did more interesting stuff. But then again, whatever. It's it's cheap. I want to say this game was like five bucks. So I can't really complain too much about a lack of depth or anything. Yeah, it's a five buck game, which is wild. It looks like a really big list. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it gets even longer, too. Because we were only like maybe three zones out of ten. Uh, I think it's specifically supposed to be a hundred levels. Let's see. Yeah, every single boss you slay up to 10 per run will let you choose an artifact. So there's 10 bosses total, and I think we've only managed to kill three, saw four. So we're just shy of uh, halfway through the game. I might actually be able to beat it if I wanted to stick around. Yeah, how many zones? Nine zones total. Ish? Um, maybe nine zones total plus maybe one more at the very, very end. Who knows? Who needs boss dialogue when you have good vibrations? Exactly. All right, one way or another, charming little incremental game. I might play some more of it, but I think I'm going to move on. It just doesn't... I, I want more depth, more systems. Why did I start a new run? 